Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another day in the life of a teacher from home video. <laughs> I'm looking a little like drab this morning because I just don't feel like putting on makeup or like doing my hair or anything like that and I'm out of focus. Are we gonna focus now, camera? Yes, we are. Um, it is uh, Monday, April, not April, oh my God. May 11th, yesterday was Mother's Day. Um, and we are getting kind of a later start. It's 8.30 already. Normally, Cash is already out the door and on his way to school by now. Um, uh, but it's fine. We all slept in this morning, which was very needed. So Cash is eating breakfast and watching TV. Um, he watches, like, Amazon Prime, like, the little kids' shows. Um, and he's drinking one of his chocolate shakes. Good morning, Bookie. Psst. Hey. Say good morning. Peace. Say good morning. Peace. Say good morning. Peace. Give me a kiss. Mm. I love. Peace. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> um, I'm wearing this super old dress. I don't even remember where it's from. I think it's from Target. It's way too big for me in the top. Um, like way too big. But it's fine, it's comfortable. Um, so this morning I am just drinking my skinny tabs and then I'm gonna try to make some superfoods coffee. I learned that you can put it in ice water. So I am going to drink that for breakfast. This one's getting ready to go, take cash to school. <laughs> and I have a WebEx meeting with my instructional assistant, Miss Jane. She is doing her small groups and we, um, and she was kind of struggling a little bit with, yeah. She was struggling a little bit with trying to get, what are you doing? She was having a hard time getting logged in and having all of her stuff up and open at the same time. So I'm gonna call her this morning and help her get everything set up, walk her through it so that today when she does her small group, she doesn't have to spend time like getting things, you know, set up. So anyway, that's what's going on this morning. I would like to make a few phone calls um, to parents just to check in here and there. And then I'm going to film my holes read aloud for the week. Um, and I also need to go to the grocery store. Um, this guy needs diapers. We have no food in the house. So. with you guys like I hate this
Okay, you guys, so I was able to get my IA on WebEx meetings, and so she's got one going right now. She has four kids that have joined it, and so I'm just letting that run um, and keeping it on in case they need my help with anything. And I'm making a grocery list because I need to go to the grocery store today, and I have to go during the day before I pick up cash because I refuse to take him in the stores. Um, so I'm making a grocery list and you guys, this is really stressful. Like I, I know I just had a breakdown, but like, I'm sure every teacher out there has had a breakdown and we've all felt like failures and we've all felt like giving up. And I'll be honest with you. There are days where I just feel like giving up and I reach out to my teacher friends, my teacher tuber friends, Darren, Kate, um, Shelly, all you guys, um, Taylor, I like, I literally don't know what I would do without them. Um, they keep me going <laughs> because I know that they're in the same struggle as me and I just have to keep going. I know there's only two weeks left, so I can just take deep breaths and get through it. I know I can do it for two more weeks. It's all going to be fine, but I'll just be real with you guys. Like it's very frustrating. I have very little participation. I have very little communication. Any of you kiddos who are working at home, you are worth it to us teachers. Just know that. The struggles, the breakdowns, the crying, it's all worth it because you are worth it. So anyway, I just, I want, I want to be able to share realness on this channel and I, I really do. I want to be honest. I don't think digital learning is working. Um, I think that it's very flawed. I think that with it not being mandatory, it causes too many kids to just decide not to do it, not to participate. And it's just, if it, if it doesn't change and if we can't go back to school and if the, what we're doing doesn't change with like everything being mandatory and you know, making sure the kids are participating and figuring out a way to make sure all kids can participate, this is not going to work. Virtual teaching is not going to work. We need to be back in our classrooms. We need to be seeing students. Even if it's a couple students a day, we need to be seeing them face to face so that we can help them navigate all of this. Otherwise, nothing is going to work. It's, it's hard, you guys. This, this is frustrating. <laughs> Not everybody has a dancing husband in the back who can make them laugh. I, I want to be honest and I want to be real and I don't want to be afraid of who's going to see this because whether it's a parent or a child or an administrator or another teacher, this is true and honest. This is hard. Virtual teaching is hard. And for some kids it's not working. For some kids it is. For some teachers it's not working. For some teachers it is. We compare ourselves to each other. We see one teacher doing one thing. We're not doing that, so we think that we're failing. We see another teacher doing something else, and since we're not doing that, we compare ourselves. But everyone is trying to figure it out, and <laughs> I have two more weeks, and I still haven't figured it out. And I'm praying that we can go back to school in the fall and have it figured out before then because I, I don't know how much longer I can do what we're doing <laughs> as I'm just like toast, I'm burnt toast. And I don't even have my kid at home. I mean, I can't even imagine if I had cash here. Like, thank the Lord he's at school, you know, playing with other kids and being entertained because if he was here, I'm sure I would have breakdowns every day. I, would, I wouldn't be able to do half of what I'm doing now and I still feel like I'm not doing enough. So. Anyway, I just, I wanna be able to speak openly, and so if any of my families out there with children in my class right now are watching, just know that I do appreciate you and that I'm doing everything that I can for your kiddos, and I appreciate the hard work that you are doing, and I understand that you are struggling too. So if you can't join a WebEx meeting, it's okay. If your kid can't get the work done, it's okay. We're all in this together, we're all struggling, and all we can do is Try to relieve some stress. If you feel stressed about anything, just take a step back, take a break. It's all gonna be okay. Mental health is really important, so. Okay, I'm gonna finish my grocery list and then I'm gonna go to the store because I have to.
I have to go to the store. Somebody help me out. Explain to me. Oh, by the way, I had to change. Explain to me this. I went to Target. I bought everything on my list. Nothing extra. And I spent almost $400 on groceries. What? What did I buy? I have no idea how that happened. Um, my fridge isn't even like full. Let's take a little gander. My fridge isn't even full. I got like yogurts. And I got yogurt. <laughs> I got a ton of produce, some meat, coffee, some cheese, oat milk, regular milk. I got some chicken nuggets. I'm gonna try these. Usually I'm kind of against stuff like this, but I wanted to try it and it said reduce sugar, so we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, got some, this is probably what happened. I got like protein powder, peanut butter, some graham crackers, potato. Like I got a lot more produce. I got some goldfish. You know, I got things I normally buy. Why is my bill so high? I probably should like check my receipt and see if she, you know, messed with my total, but I don't know. Um, I also found toilet paper and paper towels, which is perfect because I was needing those soon. I got diapers. I mean, I got everything on my list. I don't know why it was so much money. So I'm gonna have to check my receipt and see. But I got one of these <laughs> for cash because um, we turned him around in the car because um, he's, you know, getting to that point where he wants to be turned around. He wants to see what we see and he wants to drive the car. So I was like, oh, I've been eyeballing this for a long time but I wasn't sure that he'd be ready for it. But I think he'll love that so I'll take that with me when I pick him up from school. I've got an hour until I can pick him up. So I was just eating. I had made myself a caprese sandwich. So I did Roma tomato, mozzarella cheese, pesto on just like some Dave's crazy bread. The killer bread by Dave's, whatever. And it was really good. Very tasty, very fresh. Now I'm enjoying some guacamole with chips. Drinking my liquid IV. I put two packs in here. Because I haven't had any water yet and it's almost three o'clock. I'm gonna sit on the couch and watch that 70s show and get myself pepped up because as you guys saw, I had a really hard morning. I talked to my mom since then, she cheered me up. I've talked to my friend Mandy since then, she cheered me up. So I'm fine, I just needed to have that moment so that I could appreciate, you know, I have to remember I'm very fortunate, you know, like I'm still getting paid. I'm still able to do my job. I'm healthy. And so I need to make sure to remember to count those blessings and be grateful for the things that I have. But it is okay to be sad and it is okay to have hard moments. It's just, you know, make sure you have people that can help pull you out of those moments because without those people, it can be really hard. Um, so I'm glad I have my teacher tribe and I'm happy I have family and my husband is so supportive and I made it through this one. So I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I think that you guys have seen quite enough of my day. I will vlog again sometime this week and um, I hope that you guys are staying strong. I hope that you have the support system to keep you going and I am thankful for all of you because I know that when I'm struggling you guys are always there to boost me up. So I hope that I can be there to boost you up. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure that you do that. I will have all that information right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you guys can be updated. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.